My name is Neil Dickinson. I'm the Director of Construction Equipment for Finning in the UK. Really proud and pleased to be here today. Uh, we're here because uh, we're welcoming some people from the military, two sappers from Afghanistan who uh, wrote to us because they'd had an incident out there and because of the equipment they felt very proud and pleased that they'd survived and so were we. We were incredibly pleased to see the guys here today and welcome them to this Caterpillar factory. Sapper Dan Bowden from Portsmouth, uh, currently serving with 2 Engineer Regiment, 4-2 Field Squadron. Um, while out in Afghanistan a couple of months back, um, I was sent out on a route maintenance task in uh, my Cat 434 Protected, which is primarily a backhoe loader, but it's also got a front bucket as well. Uh, finished the task, filled in all the potholes, uh, and on the way back into the, the FOB, the forward operating base, um, an IED was initiated underneath my machine. Um, I didn't take it in at first, sort of looked backwards, looked forwards at uh, the vehicle's front and rear, and they were both still intact, so I didn't quite understand. Um, it was when I sort of jumped out of the vehicle, looked around, and uh, realised it was actually my vehicle that had been hit. An IED is uh, it's an improvised explosive device. It's used by the enemy to uh, sort of counteract our uh, movements. Um, and they place them sort of anywhere on like, known foot patrols or main routes. Um, and they're just used as a hindrance to us. They could be used to take out machines or vehicles or they could be used to destroy the route. Um, and that's, that's why we're sent out there to sort of provide the route maintenance so that vital convoys and supplies get to the guys out into the sort of lesser reachable locations. Uh, a standard machine would not have withstood that blast um, in my eyes. I, I literally I walked out, jumped out and uh, I was fine, no injuries or anything. I'm really, really lucky. The bit of kit that I was in, uh, it saved my life. So I just wanted to say thank you to the guys from all over, sort of those that designed it to building it, to those that supplied it as well. The guys out on the ground are really appreciating all the work you're doing back here. Um, I mean, it's, you, it's you guys that are not getting the sort of uh, the publicity and that. It's, it's our, us guys out on the ground. But it's really, it's all about Caterpillar sort of providing us with the kit and then thinning sort of doing the, uh, the final upgrades, all the armour and stuff like that. W without either, um, I wouldn't be stood here today, so I'm really grateful for all the work, all the effort they put in.